Shall we begin? Well, boys and girls, it's that time of year again. We're out in the backyard. And today I just wanted to have a quick talk. Uh, a lot of the questions I get sometimes seem pretty obvious, but uh, a lot of folks, I got this from a couple of different people, want to know what's the best way to spend their money uh, to get a photography education. Uh, a lot of them are looking at joining Kelby or the, one of the online sources. Uh, um, and they're a lot of cash. They're a pretty good investment. And there is some return from there. Uh, there are some good courses. Joe McNally's courses are great. Uh, of course, you've got lynda.com. There's a lot of good photography courses on there as an alternative. Uh, they're kind of in the same price line ballpark. It's all online education. Uh, Lindsay Adler has some good videos out. Uh, there's a lot of folks out there that are willing to give you an education online. Frank Dorhoff has some great uh, classes available on YouTube uh, that are really worth watching. They're an hour and a half long or so. Uh, I really like those. There's a lot of stuff out there that you can go and get for some investment, and there's a lot of stuff you can get for free. Uh, the free stuff on YouTube, uh, even my stuff, uh, you should really think about who's giving the information. Check up on, on them a little bit. Go have a look at their portfolio. Make sure you know who you're watching. Uh, please feel free at any time at www.williamkearns.com to go look at my work and give you an idea of uh, how I shoot and what my skill set is and whether or not I'm worth listening to. That's a good way to gauge. If somebody's giving you information and doesn't show a portfolio or doesn't demonstrate in some real way <clears throat> their level of expertise, then... Uh, I would take what they say and what they recommend with a grain of salt and balance that all out. But the one, the really best way I can recommend that you reach in your wallet and spend money is to go to a workshop. Uh, not necessarily my workshops, though that would be great. Uh, we would have a good time. But uh, any workshop where you've got a real live instructor there that you trust, that you feel has something to offer you, that's willing to spend the time and offer you some window into how they work and show you how they work and answer your questions and interact with you. There is nothing better than having a real instructor in a real situation, in a real studio, or whatever is appropriate for the uh, style of photography. It's a landscape photography that you're in front of a real landscape to work with. Have a, a real goal for that day. Uh, if you've got quite a few extra dollars hanging around, I highly recommend going on one of those adventure workshops that last a week and take you to uh, oh all ends of the earth. Uh, Chris Marquardt has some wonderful ones of those. Uh, he takes you to, I think he's got one coming up for the northernmost town in the world. I believe it's a Russian town. It's somewhere up in the Arctic Circle. And that just sounds fascinating. He goes to Ethiopia, uh, Mount Everest. He has trips. He has a really wide gambit of stuff and Chris uh, is a really good instructor and will certainly offer you uh, your money's worth. Uh, there are, uh, Photoshop World is an interesting uh, venue to go see. You can get little snippets of a lot of folks there. If you pay extra uh, you can go spend, uh, get a really good workshop experience with one of the more uh, famous or popular photographers in the Kelby stable of folks, though that's changed lately, but it uh, still seems fairly worthwhile. We have a workshop coming up on uh, June the 4th, 2016, and we're going to go to uh, the Reading Regional Airport and do the World War II weekend uh, event, and that's just going to be spectacular. We're going to have some models there, and we're going to be doing environmental portraiture in a pinup style in front of the old World War II planes, bombers fighters and whatever equipment they have on hand that's going to be really exciting if you can make it I would love to have you there you can check the website out for details it's uh, $269 which for a full day workshop is pretty economical uh, so come out and join us if you're watching this after that's over well that's a shame because you missed out on a really good workshop uh, 
but there's more coming. There's other people that have them. I'll have other ones coming up through the year. It's the 100th anniversary of the National Park System. If you can get a chance to take a workshop in a national park, go. Spend a day learning about landscape photography. It's fun. It's, it's great to get outside and those skills that you learn in that particular genre are certainly translatable to whatever you shoot. There's a lot of mechanical things in photography that repeat through all the genres and it helps to have an expert explain those to you. Though he may be applying it to, or she for that matter, may be applying it to a specific genre at the time, uh, it's certainly translatable and again it's that interaction that's the real value. So reach in your pocketbook, save your pennies, uh, if you've got money you were going to spend on some kind of a photography gadget, forget it. Forget the gadget and go to a workshop. All right, guys, remember, even if you're on the right path, you'll get run over if you just sit there. This is Bob Kearns. Subscribe. Uh, ask me questions. Uh, my email address is available on my website. You can leave comments here. Have a good one. We'll talk to you later. Shall we begin?